I just love that so much because they're really rethinking what a mall could be. Of course, here at Mosey, you're always rethinking what education can be in different ways to do it. Catherine Exidy is with me. She's the manager of the Mosey Outreach Programs here. And today we're going to learn about electricity. Yeah. Um, I brought <laughs> Which sounds our, great. It is. I brought my Van de Graaff machine today. I'll okay. turn it on for you. And basically what it does is it's a static electricity machine. It's a more advanced version of like running a balloon into your hair and having of it course. stand up. Yep. Just like this here. So I'll turn it off for one second. And when I take this off, you can actually see that the difference in um, charge, so positive and negative, Watch this, guys. causes a little bit of an electricity bolt, which is really fun. Um, but it's way more fun to do it ourselves. So would you like to help me with a fun experiment where we become I would conductive? I would love to. Awesome. Because we're going to find out if the body is a great conductor of electricity, exactly, right? Exactly, Kids yeah. love this part. So I'm going to stand a anyway. on a plastic stool, plastic of course, insulator, not a conductor. Okay. So when I hold my hand on this machine, I become part of the machine. Can you do me a favor and turn on that switch at the front there for me? I sure can. It's Where is it? Right, right there. there. There we go. And as I start to build up charge as part of this machine, you might start to see my hair start to, to raise up a little bit. Is it going? A little bit. A little bit. It might not be a super staticky day today. It really does sometimes depend on the weather. Okay. Um, but I have another really cool experiment as well that I think you can help me with, if All you right. don't mind. Usually, we have this little nail where we allow kids to be kind of a lightning rod, if you will. So they hold it really close to this without touching it, and then you pull your arm back. That's all I need you to do. But we can do something a little more exciting We're today up our than game a nail. This morning. Would you like to try this Gasparilla's one? Gasparilla's not too far away. Right. I would love to. Or what do I do? Just touch it? So what you want to do is make sure you don't actually touch it. <laughs> would Dia you do will this? Get That's the shot. question. Yeah, this is one of those things oh, you don't, don't want to try it. at home. Okay. So let's practice with the machine off. What I'm going to have you do is hold the sword tip really close to the tip of the machine. Okay, like right there? Like right about there, yeah. And then pull it back. Okay, so Got are you it. ready to do it with the machine off? You'll shoot off? your eye out, kid. Exactly. All right. Okay, so I'm going to plug in this wand again. We'll see if I can finish the rest of the show, Dia. <laughs> and we are if going to... this doesn't to... go well. Where is it? Shoot. There it is. Okay. So we're going to make a little bit of lightning again. And now hold... Oh, great. Perfect. Hold it close and then pull it back. And then hold it close and pull it back. So right now you're acting as a human lightning rod because you are not on an insulated plastic stool. A little bit of that electricity is able to go through your sword into your arm and down into the ground as well. And when you pull it back, that electricity is jumping from the path of resistance. Yeah, I kind of feel it in my shoes right now. That's yeah, great. It's pretty fun. All right, can I put my hand on here and see what happens? Ooh, yeah, let's do it. All right. So. All right, as I send it back into the studio. Hey, look, you know, this is um, one of those things, guys, I have too much gel in my hair. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> Would you like to stand on the plastic stool? There you go. Uh, Catherine Exidy, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Manager of the of outreach course. programs here. Some of the fun things they do for kids. She says it's really cool. Sometimes all the kids hold hands. They do. And yeah. they hold one holds on the machine, and then you know they can touch a doorknob or something like that. And they realize that oh yeah, we do conduct electricity really well. It's really hands-on learning. Hands-on learning, Dia. I love Best it. Best way to do it. That's why kids love Mosi so much, and parents too. I mean, again, it brings science to life. Love that place. My kids, I got to take them back out there. All right, thank you so much, James.